Hello friends, today we will see the relation between common base leakage current ICPO and common emitter leakage current ICEO. Okay, let's first draw the common base configuration, common base. So, this is our BJT and this is your emitter terminal, this is your base terminal, this is your collector terminal. Our base is common to input and output. So this is your input, here we are getting the output. Now base emitter is in forward bias. So this forward bus and base collector is in reverse bus so this is your NPN NPN transistor so this terminal collector terminal connected to the positive and the base terminal is connected to negative now this is common, base terminal is common to the input and the output. So this is your common base circuit here. Now leakage current is given the ICBO, common base leakage current. Now if I want to find out the relation between the common base and common emitter, for common base output current is IC and input current is IE. So we know the relation between the input and output current. I can write that IC output current IC equals to alpha IE plus the leakage current IC BO. Where alpha, alpha is your common base amplification factor. Amplification factor. So where alpha is your common base amplification factor. So output current IC equals to the alpha i input current plus your leakage current. Now from there I can write alpha into i is your emitter current. Emitter current is the summation of your base current plus collector current plus I see here. I can write by this way. Okay. Now I am removing this part. Okay. Then from there I can write IC equals to alpha IB plus alpha IC plus ICBO. Okay. Now, what is the relation between alpha and beta? Alpha and beta. So, from here, if I simplify, then IC, I am taking IC in the left hand side, IC plus, sorry, minus alpha IC equals to alpha IB plus ICPO okay so if I take IC common then IC into 1 minus alpha equals to beta IB uh, alpha IB sorry plus ICPO okay now what is the relation between alpha and beta you can write beta equals to 
alpha by 1 minus alpha. Now if I simplify this part, then IC equals to I can write alpha by 1 minus alpha IB plus ICBO by 1 minus alpha. No problem. Now from that beta equals to alpha by 1 minus alpha. I can write beta plus 1 taking both side plus 1 plus to alpha by 1 minus alpha plus 1. Okay. Then I can write beta plus 1 equals to alpha plus 1 minus alpha by 1 minus alpha. Alpha alpha will cancel out. So beta plus 1 equals to 1 by 1 minus alpha. One term. Now if I see here one term is alpha by 1 minus alpha and another term is if I take here 1 into then this is 1 by 1 minus alpha. So I can write that part. Now I can write this IC equals to IC equals to this is your beta IB plus plus 1 by 1 minus alpha that is beta plus 1 into IC BO. Now beta is your what is beta? Beta is the amplification factor factor for common emitter configuration ok so here output current for common emitter configuration is dependent on the input and uh, the IB is your input for common emitter. So beta into IB into the leakage current. So I can write this part, this whole part as ICEO. Okay. So if I see the circuit diagram for Common emitter configuration. There you can see this is your emitter terminal, this is your base terminal, this is your collector terminal, and here emitter is common. So input is your IB output is IC. So I can write IC equals to here beta IB plus ICEO where ICEO is your common emitter leakage current equals to I can write from here equals to beta plus 1 into ICBO. So this is the relation between the leakage current, relation between common base leakage current and common emitter leakage current.